about the best Democratic club? What's it all about? One of the things that we realized was that it's very, very tough for our community's voice to be heard a lot of times. And one of the, and, and it's a lot of great people that do run for office that can't get into office because they're blocked by an establishment that has the best interests of the establishment. Um, so what we did was we said that in order for things to change, we have to engage more people in the process. And I mean just regular rank and file folks that you see in the community may not might be 21 years old, only voted for Obama. Are we, are we saying the EDO and got sluggish, got slow, got lazy? Is that what we're saying? we saying that uh, our services could be better. So what we did was we actually started putting on events quarterly within our neighborhood to raise the awareness among our neighbors and among the generation that's coming behind uh, everybody. And that's the thing. You have to think about that generation that's right behind you. So we started putting on these events. We started, uh, we took a group, we sponsored and got some, put some money together. We took a group to Annapolis um, from uh, Northeast Middle School. But we just tried to make it to where it's a, space, an uh, open space for those uh, where Mr. Larry Gaines might want to be, whether it's Chad Springs want to be, whether it's that 18 year old, whether it's that 70 year old, because it's a very diverse group, whether it's black, white, woman, man, um, uh, but they all live in some form of Baltimore and care about Baltimore. Uh, Tony, Tony, uh, what's his name? Dawson. Dawson. That's one of your mentors up there. I 100% I agree. He he was actually one of the ones um, that made me understand the importance of community. I was actually working on houses. I own a bunch of property up and down Bel Air Road. I'm working on a house on Kenyon Avenue. And Tony Dawson asked me to Tony Dawson asked me to uh, become more engaged in the process. I like Tony Dawson. That's what I'm saying. Become more engaged in the community. I said, well, what do you want me to do? Here it is, a young man that's not outspoken. Not Tony dragged you into this. And I, what I saw was it was a lot of women, but it wasn't a lot of strong brothers helping Tony out. And I said, well, I can help as much as possible. You show me what I need to do, and I'll make sure that I'm Did he show you? That was six or seven years ago. He just showed me how to have a passion for people, man. And I love that. I love that. I love yeah. that, man. Yes.